Have you ever heard of the bonobo? Yeah. The primates? Yeah. Well, these are primates. Unlike the chimpanzee, they share most of our genetic makeup. They share about 90 some odd percent of our genetic makeup. And they exist in the Congo, and they're separated from the other primates by a river, right? They eat this thing called jungle sap, which is a fruit that you know they, they eat all the time. Their body type is slimmer than the chimpanzee. Um, and they come from the matriarchal line, right? They have more sexual positions and variety than the Kama Sutra. Right? So, with that in mind, I want to read you this poem called Broke Bonobo. And people are always saying, you know, tell me, he don't, he don't write love poetry. Well, this is a love poem. <laughs> now, in the poem, you know, I call the Kama Sutra the Karma Sutra. Broke Bonobo. We were separated by a river. She was busy and wouldn't even give me a sliver of banana peel. Although I appealed to her sense of matriarchy, I said, cut the malarkey. Give me a piece of that nana. It's not like I'm asking for much, or nana, or manna by Jiminy. It's hard out here for a chimp. In the jungle with no chimney, Swinging from branch to branch, defending your honor. She said, do me a solid, babe, and fetch me some jungle sock. To which I snorted and plotted and clopped about to make her happy. We spent that night wearing out our copy of the Karma Sutra, bending branches, shaming leaves. At one point, I caught a draft and sneezed blowing the whole damn thing. All I wanted to do was sing, let her in on what I was feeling, but she was no longer in the mood. And I tried not to brood. Besides, the moon hung so low, I climbed up on its crescent and spent the night in the crook of its glow while she snored and snored, talking about me in her sleep, sucking her teeth, mumbling, this motherfucker. 